was tonight on Channels Television that uh, a match between Play 2 United and Adamawa United. It ended 4 1 in favor of Play 2 United. They've been on a roller coaster ride this season. Uh, started so well, and so they're on top of the league table. The man that leads the team, Coach Abdul Maikaba, is with me in the studio. Coach, good to have you on Sports tonight. Uh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I look at your team. Last season, they are bridge season now. From March day one, it was a struggle till the end. What's responsible for this turnaround this season? Um, actually, uh, if you are following me very well, you will see uh, my second year in any club is always better than the first year. Mm. And that is because of the continuity. Uh, I, in the first year, uh, I have to know some areas where we need to work on. And the second year, you see, uh, after working on such areas, you see the team uh, doing very well. Mm. Mm. Uh, when I was in Wiki, we finished fourth. My first year, finished third the second year. Yeah. And uh, in Aqua United, we finished fourth, first year. Second year, we finished second. Mm. And uh, last year, we struggled all through with, uh, in Plateau United. Uh, maybe due to some factors. One, uh, I was most at times in the national team. Yeah. And uh, secondly, uh, most of the players uh, are refused to adapt to the new philosophy mm. so quick. Mm. And uh, that actually affected us. And that is why this time around, I try to go around, I recruit players, and most of the players I recruit, I did not recruit players from big clubs. I recruit players from average clubs like Quara United, Niger Tornados, Wiki Tories. Mm. If you look at the clubs... So I, why? Why didn't you recruit from big clubs? You expect that the big most players... Most of are... the players in the big clubs have won uh, the league before. So they are not hungry. So they are not hungry. <laughs> mm. They are not mm. hungry. I, I was listening to that analogy. First year at Wiki, you yeah. finish fourth, and then second year, you finish third. Aqua, first year, you finish third. Second year, finish second. Last year, 2018, in Play 2 <laughs> United, almost, <laughs> almost got relegated. You survived. Yeah. This year, you want to win the league? Yes, of course. That is the target, uh, the collective target uh, set by the group. Mm. And uh, I let the players know that uh, we have to work very hard. Mm. It's not going to be that easy. Uh, but uh, my happiness is that uh, if you look at the lock table very well, uh, we are the highest scoring team. And yeah. I always believe that team that is scoring goals uh, is likely to win a championship. Mm. And uh, we are working towards that. You, 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 you soon see highlights of the game between your team and Adama United. They don't just score goals. They play a beautiful brand of football. It's good to see. You, we saw something like that when you were at Aqua United. We saw a little bit of it also when you were at Wiki Tories. Yes. But this play two United, on there's just something about What's the style at play two United? I think it's, the style is so similar to that of Wiki, Aqua. They are very similar, uh, but uh, I can say there is little improvement uh, in the way we play in Plateau United mm. because every day we are learning and uh, we learn from our uh, mistakes. Uh, I, made, I definitely made some mistakes in Wiki. That is why I have not won uh, the league that time. I made some mistakes in Aqua. Maybe that is why I have not won the league. Mm. Uh, now, I try to work on such mistakes mm. in uh, Plateau United, and uh, I'm happy it's working for me. Tell me about this, this match against the Imba. Your team got a red card, and they still went on to win the way they did. What did you say to the boys? No, I, I, I really, against the Imba, I told them, 
Uh, Aimba is an experienced side. Uh, playing in the continent at present. So the players are exposed and uh, they are just coming from a continental game. They come straight to... I told them we have to work very, very hard mm. uh, to get a decent result in that game. Mm. And uh, we were happy. Uh, we created a lot of chances in that game. We played very good football. Uh, everybody enjoy it. And uh, the happy part of it is that uh, now uh, spectators used to come yeah. uh, to our stadium to watch games because mm. of the beautiful game we are playing. I see. And uh, I told them if we can beat Lobby 3-1. Three, three mm. and uh, You can beat Aimba 4-1. can beat Aimba the same margin or more. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, and uh, they that ginger them mm. and uh, the moment they scored the first goal the second goal in the second half uh, they start believing that yes we can do it we can get the results my, our coach is telling us mm. next up for your team is mfm football club of lagos uh, how well do you know this mfm team mfm uh, is always a very good side very good side because it's a team full of uh, young players. And uh, young players, uh, they are good fighters because they are players that are willing to excel. And uh, MFM, if you look at their composition, at every point in time, they have a group of young players that are willing to go far in the game. There they produce players like Sikiru, Olatubo, Sun, uh, Ode. If fine, if fine. If fine, if fine. So many good players. And uh, I believe uh, this season also is not going to be an exception. Mm. They have good players, fantastic players. Uh, but uh, I think uh, Plateau United, we are at our best this season. And uh, I hope we'll put a stop to our four form away from home of recent. Mm. We played three games, we lost three games away from home of recent. This is the fourth one. And uh, I told the boys, we have to put a stop. It's the right time. To be a champion, uh, you can't be losing uh, games away like this. Mm. So we'll give our best, we we'll see what will happen. Uh, on Sunday. A mm. uh, coach, I've been commending fans of play to United because they come out in their numbers, they watch football. Now you've just told us that because of the beautiful football that your team plays, they watch it and they don't cause trouble. How important is it for us to, you know, take the message of fans, education out there, so that our fans don't cause trouble? Because the league management company, they've said now that fans of play two are uh, of, not, not play two, kind of pillars, <laughs> and Katsina United uh, will not be at the stadium anymore to watch their team. So how important is it for, for us to take fans' education to these fans? Um, actually, I believe uh, all the 20 clubs have uh, uh, fans' club, and uh, they have uh, the leadership of the fans' uh, club. And uh, through that... Uh, their organization, they can be able to uh, educate uh, the fans, uh, more especially about uh, the game, football. Sometimes you lose, yeah. sometimes you win. Mm. That doesn't mean if you lose, you start fighting. You look at what is wrong so that next time, you get a win, you will also be happy. Uh, it's very important uh, for these uh, organizations that are running a uh, fans club of different uh, clubs uh, to be educate to educate their supporters, more especially before the commencement of the league. Conduct seminars. Uh, 
workshops, uh, uh, talk shows? If uh, you can conduct uh, seminars, tell fans, uh, it's not good to be in the arena. Mm. It's leave people that are supposed to be in the arena to be. That's the main actors, yeah. the match commissioner. The, the technical No team. need to see uh, supporters moving into the arena. Mm. To uh, know how to cheer your team when the team is down. Uh, but sometimes uh, our fans, you see, instead of cheering the team, when their team is down, they start looking at a scapegoat, more especially the officiating officials. Mm. They will start thinking the officials are not fair to them. Uh, to me, uh, fans should understand that if their team play good football, they can get a good result. I agree. I agree. So hopefully we're not going to have our fans trouble uh, till the end of the season. Coach, uh, have you been impressed with the, with the league so far this season? Yes. Actually, uh, we are playing one of the best uh, football season in Nigeria, 2019 and 2020. I'm not even surprised when I have seen the, the rating. Now Nigeria has improved in the rating, uh, the, in the league in Africa or in the whole world. We have improved and uh, I'm not surprised because of what is happening this season, particularly the officiating. You can, see, you can imagine uh, four away wins in a week, one match day. One match day. Uh, we were so happy the way officiating officials are uh, uh, doing their job this time around. And uh, you hardly hear any coach or any official complaining of uh, match officials. And uh, another factor, Teams now believe they can win anywhere. That makes the game so beautiful. All the teams in Nigeria believe they can win anywhere against any opposition. And uh, even the players now are not afraid. They go out, they express themselves, mm -hmm. and they enjoy their football. That makes it beautiful. Nasara United went to Uyo to beat Dakada, and then yes. Warewolves who came to Lafia to, to beat, beat Nasarawa. Nasarawa. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not by accident. If you look at the number of uh, spectators now going to watch our games have improved tremendously. Mm. And I believe it's because of the officiating and the good football uh, displayed by the teams. Mm. And uh, you will see uh, a team at the tail end of the log if it's playing against a team at the upper part of the log, it's so difficult always. No uh, small opposition again in Nigerian football. Awesome, I love that. So yes. uh, let's, just, let's just put, uh, give it a final push now. In what areas can we improve so that, let's not even go to Europe, that when you look at our league football and that of the North Africans, because they yes. do so well, in what areas can we improve to reach that level? Um, actually, uh, I will say s television first. I, I will remember my decision to go to Aqua United is because of the beautiful stadium. Mm. And uh, that beautiful stadium will attract television. And I am happy that year... Uh, Almost all our home games are televised. And uh, it makes our team better. It makes uh, the league so beautiful. We need television uh, in this league. Like all this beautiful football we said we are playing, people need to see it all over the world. Not people that only go to the stadium to watch. People need to see it in their city rooms. 
so that they know that Nigeria, Nigeria League is now better than before. Agree with you, and with TV fans, we behave themselves. Then they yes. see cameras. Thank you. You know, of the officials who also know that if they if they play, any is going to be on TV. Yes. Coach Abdul Maikaba, I must say thank you so much. I had a great time having this conversation with you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. That's it. Play to United, Coach <laughs> Abdul Maikaba, are speaking to us about the Nigeria Professional Football League. He leads the team that leads the table uh, of the league. Let's see what they can do against MFM on Sunday. That's how far we can go on this edition of the show. But Remember, you can keep talking to us, particularly on league football development in Nigeria on Twitter. Our channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. That's the show for the team, the ever-winning sports team. I'm Austin Okonakpan. In everything you do, remember, keep talking sports. Bye for now. <music>